So in the previous video, we proved these two results here. Okay, so I'm just popping them on the board so that we have uh, we might find that they're useful uh, in this example. So um, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. Okay, and you, you're really going to need to keep your wits about you when you go through these types of problems about summing series. Okay, so part one of this. Uh, First of all, we need to prove that 1 plus e to the i theta is 2 times cosine of theta over 2 times e to the i theta over 2. Okay? So that's the first thing we need to prove. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to think about that on the left-hand side, we've got e to the i thetas. And on the right-hand side, we've got e to the i theta over 2s. So really what we want to do is we want to get the same... Um, power of e on both the left hand and right hand side. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to write the left hand side 1 plus e to the i theta okay, in the form of e to the i thetas over 2. Okay? So what can we write 1 as? Well, 1 can be written as e to the i theta over 2 times e to the minus i theta over 2, okay? Because the, obviously the indices uh, will add together and you'll get 0, e to the 0, which is 1, okay? So that is 1. And the i, e to the i theta, we can write as e to the i theta over 2 uh, times e to the i theta over 2. e to the i theta over 2 plus e to the i theta over 2 will make e to the i theta. Okay? So, that's the first step. Now, we'll no you'll notice that we've got e to the i theta over 2s as factors of both terms. So we can factorise that, bring that out, leaving us with e to the i theta over 2, so I'll write it this way around, plus e to the minus i theta over 2. Okay? Now, look at that and compare it with the results that we had from before, okay? So, what you've got there is the theta there can be replaced with theta over 2, and you would have precisely what is inside that bracket. The only problem is you've got that one half. So, that means that 2 cosine theta is what's in that bracket. So this is e to the i theta over 2 times by 2 cosine, where theta is replaced with theta over 2. And so you get the 2 cosine theta over 2 e to the i theta over 2, which is exactly what we wanted to get to. OK? So hopefully we can use a similar method to prove this second statement here. Okay? So, let me just uh, change pen. Right. So, 1 take away e to the i theta. Let's use a similar method then. We'll write that 1 as e to the i theta over 2 times uh, e to the minus i theta over 2. And we'll have take away e to the i theta over 2 times e to the i theta over 2. Now, factorising out, factoring out the e to the i theta over 2, we'll be left with um, e to the minus, well, let's write it as, um, hmm, minus e to the i theta over 2 plus e to the minus i theta over 2. Let's write it that way around. So you can factor out the minus sign, okay? And we could write this as equals minus, that will become positive, that will become negative. Write it that way around. So that's now in the correct form for that bracket there, right? Now if you multiply uh, both sides by 2i, we're going to get 2i sine theta is what's in that bracket. So we'll have minus e to the i theta over 2 times by 2i sine theta over 2. 
So the angle's been replaced with theta over 2, like so. And so we have minus 2i um, in the form they have sine theta over 2 e to the i theta over 2. OK? And so we've proved the second result. OK? So that's the first bit. Right, let's have a look at the second bit. So show that 1 plus uh, n choose 1 cosine theta plus n choose 2 cosine 2 theta plus dot 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 plus cosine of n theta is equal to 2 to the n times cosine to the n of theta over 2 times cosine of n theta over 2. Okay, so look out that power, the n there is a power. Here it is multiplying the theta over 2. Okay, so just be uh, a little wary of that. So where is this coming from? Well, what we really want to do is we want to um, split this up. And we're going to use real and imaginary parts here to work with it. And we're going to say that this is C. We're going to call this C. 1 plus n choose 1 cosine theta plus n choose 2 cosine 2 theta plus dot 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 plus cosine of n theta. OK, we're going to call that one C because it's all the cosines. We're also going to come up with, uh, so we're going to let that, and we're going to have S. OK, now the S summation isn't going to include the 1, so I'm, going to not, I'm going to ignore that, but all of these are going to become sines. So n choose 1 sine theta plus n choose 2 sine 2 theta plus dot 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 plus sine of n theta. OK, you might be wondering, well, why is this happening? Uh, why are you doing that? Well, there is a reason where this is going. OK, so um, just uh, just give me a moment. OK, <laughs> right. So now if you were to say, right, that I've got C plus I S. OK, so if you think about it um, as cosine theta plus I sine theta. OK. So C plus I S, we're going to have uh, 1 plus, then you're going to have n choose 1 cosine theta plus I times n choose 1 sine theta. So we can factor the n choose 1 out the front and then have cosine theta plus I sine theta in a bracket. Then the next term would be n choose 2 cosine of 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta plus dot 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 plus cosine n theta plus i sine n theta. OK, now what it looks to be here is that in each of these, we can utilise uh, the Moivre's theorem, OK? So, 1 plus, then we've got n choose 1 of, well, that's going to stay the same, cosine theta plus i sine theta to the 1, if you like, plus n choose 2 of cosine theta plus i sine theta to the power of 2 plus dot 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 plus cosine of theta plus i sine theta to the power of n. OK, so what does this now look like now that it's in this format? OK, you can start to see that actually this looks like cosine theta plus i sine theta uh, to the power of n expanded, okay, or, or 1 plus that, rather. So, this might be easier to see if we um, 
think about cosine theta plus i sine theta in the form of uh, e to the i theta, OK? So 1 plus n choose 1 of e to the i theta plus n choose 2 of e to the i theta squared plus dot, 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 plus um, e to the i theta to the power of n. OK. So this would be the same as 1 plus e to the i theta to the power of n. OK. So that is where we need to get to. Now, um, this is where this bit is going to come in useful, right? So e, 1 plus e to the i theta, we know to be 2 cosine theta over 2 uh, e to the i theta over 2. And that's all to the power of n. OK, so hopefully you can start to see that we're actually getting into where we want to be here. OK, now, if we now uh, rewrite that now to the power of n, we can write that as 2 to the n. Then we've got cosine to the n of theta over 2. OK, that's that term there, OK, coming in. Then we've got e to the i theta over 2 to the power of n, which is e to the i theta n over 2. OK, so where is this next bit coming from? Well, because we can write e to the i theta n over 2 back into the cosine plus i sine theta form, we could write this as 2 to the n cosine to the n theta over 2 cosine of theta n over 2 plus i sine of theta n over 2. OK. Right. OK. Now we've got to this stage. Remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to show that this is equal to this. Now, that I refer to as C which is the real part of C plus I, S. And so C must be the real part of this. So C must be equal to the real part of the C plus I, S, which is equal to the real part of this. OK, so cosine theta n over 2 plus i sine theta n over 2. So if it's just the real part of that, we can get rid of the i sine theta over 2, and we're just left with the 2 to the n cosine to the n of theta over 2, uh, cosine of n theta over 2. Right, now, things to keep an eye out for when you're doing this type of problem, OK? Quite often, you need to consider setting up uh, C and S in this way, OK? And bringing them together so that they can then be written in a factorised form and then, with a bit of manipulation, allowing you to then... Uh, either find the real part or imaginary part, whichever part you actually need to use. OK, so it does take a bit of practice to kind of see where things are coming from. But a lot of it uh, is relying on using these two, um, uh, these two results that we found in the previous video.